What's going on everybody, it's your boy Smeez the Trackstar and welcome back to another dancehall video tutorial now on here. I go by the style of Andrew Blocks by request. Um, as a producer, Andrew Blocks is very multidimensional, it's not a dancehall specific producer. I'm of a lot of I mean, to him, film character, so. Well, I'm do my research for the video, which Andrew Blocks are someone that I'm already familiar with. They make one of my favorite reading them from back in the days. A Black Rhino song. Can't remember what the song name, but we we'll focus on them darker reading them. I mean, the dance all thing them. So, it's a guy where I'm like sound effects a lot, and I'm like a horror Halloween type of instrument, them or a type of sound. And him use panning a lot in him, in him track them as well as him to use the typical drum patterns and drums in general. Him always have something different about him track them. I have a couple of links in the description to some of my favorite rhythm them, what I'm do. But you know, without further ado, we will go in and tell the video. So I have contact pull up, so we just need to find a good string as the bass on my track. Alright, so that's the middle. We kind of fuck up on it at the end, but we can always change that, no problem. So firstly, let's drag everything back to the start. Let's quantize everything. These last couple of notes is supposed to be, so let's go. Boom, boom, card, and then supposed to go down one. So, alright, so just from looking at it, right? These two notes have to come up to you, so. And then this last note, yeah, come up to you, so. And the top note is perfectly fine, so just cut this out. And you can do Control D. And let's now start. Play with the tempo if we kind of get the right tempo. Alright, so. Of this here, so then this come across, and then them two here come right there, so all right. So, so 95 is the tempo. So, let's drag this across, create another pattern out that, and then this time we'll switch up the notes at the end. So, instead of So instead of we'll go from here so to that, we don't go from that to this. I mean, so let's get them three notes to in. So you have one yaso, one yaso, and the bottom notes stay the same. So if we play it now, I mean, which it kind of sound a little bit weird to be honest. So what I'm gonna do is instead of it, Alright, so that's the melody. So let me see, let's go into the playlist. Let's put this at the start. Draft your organ. Um not sure which one I'm gonna use 
the VB3. And then, like I said, he's a Halloween type of guy. So, in a second, I'll drag in some Halloween sound effects and start get kind of creative with this thing. Yeah. Let's find a good organ. So, what we'll do for this is we'll kind of copy the pattern and now we'll kind of turn it into a sustained melody for the organ. Alright, cool. Lay up on top of that now, bring in a piano. Next us, I'm so now I'm build everything for one track. So let's go insert. Yeah, so then let's insert again. And then this after next us now. So let's go back to the contact. And then this time we want some like some like a staccato piano melody. Right, let's turn off the release on this thing. Yeah. Let's do the ballad grand. Let's come in with a melody. Alright, so let me say, I do a lot of panning, right? So, if I mimic that, but I'll put in some low notes. Put that to the side. Let's insert a new pattern. Nexus. We will clone neck and pretty much staying within the same realm, create a higher arpeggiated melody. So let's pan this one all the way to the right, or actually about 75% to the right. Alright, so let's switch this. So, I want to do a strum for this first note. So, how you do that? Extend this note, Alt U, got it. You get rid of all of the last part, and then bring up this piece to the next key and drag it out. Okay. Bring this back across again, the strum. Now 
I'll do the same thing again here. I'll we'll just drop the first note. So we'll go up two octave to a high pitch key. Do that, go across with it. Then we'll drop the velocity if you get some feeling. All right, <clears throat> let's cut this, insert a new pattern, pierce it, and drop it into the playlist. And then everything together should sound like this. Know what I mean? So now, is what like me so I'll start at the variation. So let's go back to the contact patch. Let's clone contact. Let's delete this instrument though. Let's bring in the, let's go Spitfire. Let's go strings. Mm. I find something good. I mean, some dark. Smith uh, fire strings. No, so the same thing. I'm just delete. <laughs> Full orchestra. So what this sound like. Hmm. Uh. All right, so let's see. Let's go. Let's copy this. Let's pierce it in here, so. But what I'm going to use this for is more of emphasis, right? So I'll get rid of some of these cards. So, so like it, when a certain part play it, get more feeling more. I mean, so let's drop this out active. All right, don't like how it sound though. I'm gonna lie. Um, cello legato. Copy the organ pattern. Cut this, insert a channel, and get this into the playlist. So then one more thing I'm gonna do is bring in another pattern, all right, boom. I'll make this unique. I'll keep the same strings, but I'll get rid of all of the bass notes though. 
people out of the high notes and create a pattern like this. So when the, the second part come in, we have a high pitch melody. Then, you know, track can start right there, so. So let's begin adding some sound effects. For that, we'll go to Semantics Halloween samples. Okay. And firstly, let's add some laughs. Alright. Alright, so before that, Andrew Block's tag is this um Just download it, so for, so yeah, Andrew Block's tag is this like like a thing at the front. <laughs> you know what I mean, so let's add that to this. Firstly, let's kind of start it a proper way. So let's go like that and add it to this. <laughs> let's say this song right let's put it on the mixer uh, somewhere let's bring in this vst it's called pun man from sound ties and when we say rest here about it but you fuck so what pun man do is when i listen to the ghost thing right so pun man it kind of pun it around just like it said But it have some wicked, wicked pun in that region, I swear to God. So. So imagine when we do that and make it like look how wide it get. Then we add in verb to it. You know what I mean? The fucking possibilities are endless. It's just crazy. Yeah, so pretty much everything go run through. Any type of effects I'm around or run through. Do I want you? So I turn on the volume on this. Let's start from here, so. One thing I'm going to do, though, cut this off. I can time stretch this so I got auto. Let's cut off the front. And if we drag it into. Where is it? All right, that's all. All right, so now it's just a sample. Got auto. None. Cool. So now we can time stretch it. So 
Let's go stretch and So like I said, Andrew Block's thing is not a, a quick thing, it's a multiple layer thing, you know what I mean? So take your time when I do it for the style of your life. Ah, oh because and then something just come overnight for sure. It's not some simple Exterminate. thing. Terminate it! Let me ask somebody help! There are monsters. They'll be here. We're all going to vicious. Let's try one of them drum loop, yeah. Nope. <laughs> All right. So let's get into creating actually some drum so let's go and bring in some samples let's go echo sound works over your drum kit right, so let's bring in that that this one and this one all right so all four of them together should sound like this. Cool. Let's go and get some snares. Nice bright snare. Cool, so one drum pattern, let's duplicate that, change the pattern. So make this unique, and let's change up the pattern for the second one. The first one, we don't keep the same, so we'll just get rid of some of them. I mean, so let's go back to the playlist. Let's duplicate them, yeah. Let's insert a new pattern. This time we got serum. I want a bass line, so the space sauce, dark bass. Let's go back to the contact. And create one. Insert serum again. Let's 
same pattern but different bass this time so let's go mellow or slushy slush mellow bass It's fine. I need a bass to complement that one, but I'll sit down on the top. So let's see if let's see, copy, paste, go up active, back one. See if we have any type of morphing or type of bending. No, I don't have no bending, I go on. Um, so let's see if we can add that. So let's go Porter. So now let's bring in Nexus and simple, just the sign base. And this is for the body. So them two sound their color and character. And then this bass line now is specifically for the body. I'll show them a insert piece and then put them in the playlist. So we kind of an intro, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we have an intro. Nice intro at that. We need more instruments to us, so let's bring cross the drums. Actually, fuck them drums there. Let's come here. Insert one, make unique. Now we start getting to the meat of the truck. So let's. Cool. 
Let's copy this. Let's insert expand PS. And what we want to expand is the spiccato up and down. Let's go back to the playlist. Start creating the drum pattern around this. introduce let's cut this insert it's a new channel ps let's insert expand once again so let's pretty much just clone it one this this time i've got bells tubular bells Let's cut this pattern, or not, let's not cut it yet, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's go Alt L, let's go up, and active, cut that, actually cut this, insert, Let's go playlist and we should have this. So from this transition. Now I mean, all I can do is add I had actually at this crash. Add this to some purse. So just add some percussion. Let's 
let's go back around let's create a new pattern this is for bs so can copy the melody from earlier PSCT also. This time we'll turn it into some staccato notes. So let's go back in the playlist. Come here, so. Uh, so let's start creating the bass. Let's go up velocity. find some high hats Let's bring back in the piano. Let's add this limiter. Let's go back from the start. So let's add a lead. 
It's going to be Zampler. Now, the reason I like this plugin so much is because it has some crazy Halloween type of sound. First, let's run through some of these keys. It's something like the piano, let's bring it down. Let's duplicate it or clone it, make it unique. And then cut the pattern out of that and go in at the sampler. Load up a bank, factory, and find a good lead. Uh, that might work. Just like I said, I like to play around with the whole effect with Pan Man. So what I'm going to do is add Pan Man to this and just put an effect on it. Eat a crazy feel.
Ravi, ça va rester pour ça me voir quand ça parle. Pour ça me voir quand ça parle. So by the time you hear it, it's really might sound completely different. You know, it no mix or nothing like that, but that's pretty much the gist of it. It's like I said, a lot of punning, a lot of Halloween-ish type of things, and it's definitely a minor scale melody. So, I mean, until next time, it's a boy SB is the track star. Peace. <laughs>